Just feel like good evening, good evening, good evening. I know I'm a little uh, early than I had planned on it. But I just feel like a little worship. Feel like a little worship. Feel like a little worship. How many of you, you know you're going to live to see it happen? You're going to live to see it happen. Every petition you have uh, up there with the Lord, you're going to live to see it happen. I just feel like some worship. Hey, hey. I'm going to tag a few people. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. To see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. To see it happen. You're going to live to see it happen. Every petition you have before the Lord, do you believe you're going to see it happen? Do you believe you gon' you believe you gonna see it happen? I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. I don't care what the devil tried, what he thought he did in 2020, and even in some parts of 2021. I don't care what he thought he was gonna do, but he he not winning because I am victorious. I am victorious. You victorious too. Can y'all hear this in the background? All right, good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. This is Motivational Moments with who? Gigi Smith, Gigi Smith. I just want to come to you just for a few minutes. Number one, I just had to, I wanted to do a little worship. I just felt like some worship. I felt like somebody that's going to tune in tonight needed a little worship. You just have to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Be true with your worship. Be true with your worship. Do you believe mm, you're going to live to see it happen? The petitions you have before the Lord, do you believe that God is going to deliver? Do you believe God is going to deliver? That is not even what I want to talk about tonight, but it's all about worship, all about worship. Tonight, I want to talk to you about perception, perception. We all have things that we that we may or may not go through. I'm going to tell you, I, you know, every day is not Sunday at my house. So it may be some times I go through. Let me tell you how I respond to the adversity, respond to the things that don't feel good. I look at the end. I look for the end. I might be going through, but God is going to bring me through it. He's, I didn't, I didn't. 
I didn't, trouble don't come to stay. Trouble won't last always. See, God, if he brought you to it, he going to bring you through it. Stop looking at the situation the way it is. Start using your spiritual eyes to see the end result. When you can see God getting the glory from your, from your life lesson. God getting the glory from you feeling like you, your back is against the wall. See, you have to learn how to look at situations, not with your natural eyes, but look at the situation with your spiritual eyes and know that God is already getting the glory. You're not going to pout. You're not going to frown. You're not going to say, I can't handle this. You're going to take it like you are a child of the Most High. You are, you are a child of the King. You are royalty. So you need to be standing up, acting like you are royalty. Don't pull your head down. Continue to hold your head up. Look at the things that look through the situation. Don't look at it. Look through that thing. Whatever your it is, God is going to deliver. Whatever your it is, God is getting the glory. He wants us to see the glory through the situation. He don't want you to look at it. He wants you to look through it. See, we have to change our perception. You have to change your perception. To you, this might be the end of the road. But to somebody else, they can see God getting the glory because you have learned to be humble. See, humility is the key to living. You have to learn to be humble. You have to learn to practice humility. See, when, when, when you wrong somebody and you do something, see, God will put you on your knees so you can go back and ask that person to forgive you. See, that's humility. That's humility. That's not having pride. That's humility. Your perception of a situation is important. How are you looking at it? Are you looking at it like every, every ordinary person sees it? Are you looking at it like God sees it? We all have to go through some things to learn some lessons. Those are called life lessons and growing pains. Growing pains don't feel good. When there's a lesson you need to learn, it doesn't feel good. But you have those things so you can understand God is still in control. That thing that you've been, you've been had all up inside your head all week. God said, let it go. Let it go. Stop looking at it for face value. Stop taking it for face value. I had this thing happen so you can see the glory that's coming out of it. Don't look at it. Look through it. Look to the other side that you can see the glory from it. You have to look at things from the end point instead of the beginning or the middle. God getting the glory out of this. I might have thought I was suffering at one point in my life, but God has gotten the glory out of my life. God is getting the glory out of your life. You, you somebody might be saying, "Well, gee, how's that? I, 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 I'm, I'm going through. I'm suffering. I'm this. I'm that." That's only because you said that out your mouth. Speak those things that are not as though they were. Speak life. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Speak life and life is going to come to you. I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. I'm going to see it happen. I'm going to see it happen. See, I, I've been in a, a somewhat of worship all, all day, all day. My family and I texting back and forth, just praising God for what he's going to do, what he has done, and what he's doing right now. Why do I say that? Because we still here. You still have an opportunity to get some things right in your life. You still have an opportunity to do right, treat people right, forget, forgive, and get forgiven. Ask people that you know you've done wrong, please forgive me. Please forgive me because life, it, tomorrow is not promised to you. Tomorrow is not promised. You only have right here, right now. The next minute is not promised. So live your life 
to the fullest. Stop looking at stuff with for face value. Oh, they said they said if I don't have this, have these funds right here, that that some negative gonna happen. When they tell you something gonna happen, say I know the man. My daddy, as my mother said, my my daddy got, God got plenty of money. I say my daddy though. My daddy got plenty of money if that's what I need. If that's my need, God is going to deliver. If that's the need I have, God is going to deliver. Whatever your need is. And you ask God sincerely. God, give me what I need so I can give you all of me. Not just more of me, but all of me. It's how you perceiving it. How are you perceiving it? Are you taking things for a lesson that you need to learn? Or are you thinking people are picking on you? Now, I can honestly, honestly say, in the past, I would say people were picking on me. But then when I when I when I got to meditating and I I I I, I continued to call on the name of Jesus, he said, daughter, it's all about learn a learning lesson. It's all about learning. It's all about where I'm taking you. You have to come up to the point where I'm taking you. You can't stay down here on milk. You have to start getting some meat. You have to gradually get some meat. Don't just, just try to take the steak and eat it all. You have to gradually get off the milk and get in on the meat. If, and when you begin to get on the, get on the meat, you will begin to understand perception. You'll begin to understand perception. How are you perceiving your life? How are you perceiving the things that you call a downfall? The things you call that push you up against the wall. How are you perceiving that? Are you saying that God is just, just taking you through to take you through? Are you, or do you really understand that you have to learn from the milk stage to the, excuse me, from the meat stage, you have to continue to grow. It's a, all a growing process. We have to trust the process. You have to trust the process. That's the only way your perception about life is going to change. You have to trust the process. Trust God. Trust the process and grow. God doesn't want you to stay on the milk. He wants you to gradually start eating some meat. He wants you to gradually start understanding what, what meditating with him is. What talking to him is about. What praying to him is about. What is your perception about what you're going through? Whatever your it is, God is going to deliver. He is a deliverer. He's a healer. He's a way maker. He'll make a way out of no way. See, that's the kind of God I serve. Those are the words that I say. I am healed, God. I'm whole. I'm healthy. See, you have to, I go, I'm going to go back here. You have to learn how to train your subconscious. Talk to your subconscious. And once you begin to train your subconscious, guess what? It's going to start agreeing with you. Speak those things that are not as though they were. Speak life. Subconscious, I am debt free. Subconscious mind, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am a giver. Subconscious mind, I am a best-selling author. Subconscious mind, I am a sought-out motivational speaker. <laughs> Subconscious mind, <laughs> my businesses are well-known. So you have to train your subconscious mind. I can only use my examples. I don't know your business. I only know mine. So that's why I'm telling you about me. What I have to do with my subconscious mind. Because the saying is, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. It is. It is. You need to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Keep it in the center lane. Look, at, look to the hills where your help comes from. Because your help comes from the Lord. Keep it in the center lane because they'll swallow you up on the right or the left. My dad, my biological father said they'll swallow you up on the left, on the right. 
But I say that those distractions come from the left or the right. So keep your eyes on God. Trust God and trust the process. You, you have grown. You still growing. And to be honest, as long as we on this side, you won't stop growing closer and closer to God if that's what you want. That's what I want. I want God to know that I'm, 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 I'm fighting for him. Know that I'm being bold for him. Knowing that I'm the game changer and the atmosphere changer that he's called me to be. That's what I want. I want God to know that Gigi Alicia Smith wants him. I want more of him. I want more of God. Not just on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. I want more of God every day. I get up telling God, thank you. I get up praying over my household. I get up telling God, thank you for my, for my children's lives. I get up telling God. Thank you and have a praise on my lips because he didn't have to wake me up this morning, but he did. He didn't have to let me uh, go to the place of employment and come back and, and not no harm, harm or danger came to me. He didn't have to do it. So you better learn how to tell God, thank you for the small things. It's not necessarily the big things. It's the small things. Once you appreciate the small things, he will begin to bless you with the big things. But you have to show him you appreciate the small things that he does. Then he'll be able to bless you with the huge things that you've asked him for. You, got, you have to understand the per perception is everything how you look at situations is very important you might look at be looking at a situation with your natural eye and i encourage you to start tapping into your spirituality so you can look at it with your spiritual eye see on the surface it seems all bad it seems like you're not going you're not going to make it. You don't you don't think you can go through this anymore. You don't think that 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 your family going to make it with your natural eye. But when you start tapping into the spirit, it's already all right. God is getting the glory. You better give him the glory right now. God is getting the glory out of everything that you do. God is getting the glory on the other side of that it, whatever you're going through, whatever that it is, whatever that it that's trying to hold you hostage, God said it won't win because you a winner, you a fighter, and I don't mean physically. You better come out with some word. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I'm the lender and not the borrower. I am wonderfully made. I am God's masterpiece. I am whatever your I am is. It's going to come looking for you. I am whatever it is. I am whatever it is. Whatever your I am is. I encourage you to practice the I am exercise. See, that gives me life. That gives me life when I'm able to say I am. I am the best-selling author. I am a sought-out motivational speaker. I am a sought-out life coach. I am an awesome woman of God. I am, I am, I am. I am an amazing mother. I am. Whatever your I am is, practice your I ams. It's all about your perception. What are you perceiving? What are your perception? What's your perception about your situation? When you're going through, what's your perception? Start calling on Jesus. When trouble start hitting your door, call on the name of Jesus. And guess what's going to happen? The devil got to flee. The devil has to flee. So start calling on the name of Jesus and just break out into a praise and a worship for nothing. He didn't have to, God don't have to do nothing for me to tell him thank you. Because I'm 53, that's thanks enough. Because a lot of folks that was born in 1967, they're not here today. And if God let me see it, 
October 19th, 2021, I'll be 54. So that's a reason for Gigi to tell God, thank you. Because I'm still here. I've gone through some trials and tribulations. It was some times in my life I thought I was going to lose my mind. But I thank God he allowed me to keep it. I thank God when my grandparents died three weeks and three days apart, I didn't lose my mind even though I thought I was. I thought I couldn't make it because he, he took both of them so fast. But he said, daughter. I need you to hold up. I need you to keep that smile on your face. I need you to keep a worship in your spirit. A praise in your mouth and your feet. Because I have something miraculous, important for you to do. Now mind you, this is in 2011. This is 2021. 10 years. 10 years ago. I thank God for it. Yeah. I thank God for it. For picking me. For picking me to be his mouthpiece. For picking me to be the coach. The evangelist. <laughs> the motivational speaker. And I told y'all I'm not your typical motivational speaker. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm not here to tickle your fancy. Whatever God get, whatever word God gives me, I'm going to give it to you. If it's wrong, talk to him about it. I'm not here to make you feel good. When he gives me something, this is serious business. This is about your life. People say, well, you, you do seminars, I sure do. He gave me moving forward, but guess what? Moving forward is not about your a seminar or a conference. It's about your life. Stop living in your past and begin to take your feet. Dust your feet off. If people don't get you, they don't understand you, take, dust your feet off and keep moving. Sometimes you have to do that to, in your own house, your own uh, neighborhood, your own state. You can sit it. You got to dust your feet off and go where God sends you. Because God is, God wants some soldiers that are true. <laughs> that are true about the calling that's on your life. God wants you to be true, transparent. And anybody who know me, I tell you, you ask me something, I'm going to tell you. But I don't mind telling you, this ain't always been me. I'm not, I, I, I ain't never said I've been squeaky clean. There's some things in my life that I had to go repent for. And God has forgiven me. So guess what? I have forgiven me too. God say it's in a sea of forgiveness. So why am I holding on something? Let me let me say that again. Why are you holding on to something that God has already forgiven you for? Why are you holding on to it? Why are you holding it over your own head? Not nobody else holding nothing over your head. But you perceive your perception is that people are looking at you because they know your they know your past. See, but they don't know the person that you've become. So they want to try to keep holding your past over you. It's up to you to keep living in your present and walk to your future. God is going to take you where you need to go. God is going to take you where he wants you to be. So let go. Let go of your past. Let go of the naysayers. Stop, stop trying to be friend to folks that you know good and well. If they talk to you about somebody, guess what? They talking to somebody about you that's not a friend. God will give you discernment if you ask him. I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard. It's all about your perception. Your perception 
of your life, your perception of your going through. If God brought you to it, he going to bring you through it. It, it, it. it doesn't come to stay. That's just like a stop sign or is it a stop sign or a stay? We just stop it for a minute. I don't, I don't, I didn't come down troubles road to stay there. I didn't come down uh, going through to stay there. But where I am going to stay is on Faith Street. I believe in me street. I trust God Avenue. That's where I'm going to stay. I know I've learned how to be still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's where I'm going to stay. Trouble won't last always. So look at your trouble in a different, at a different angle. Look at your trouble from a different lens. Look at your trouble through your spiritual eyes and not your natural eyes. Just pay attention. Ask God to give you what you need to go through what's trying to take you out. Because the devil's tactics haven't changed. All he know, if he if he had you have you thinking your perception the wrong thing, you may turn, you may sway from where God is taking you. It's all about your perception. What is it that you're perceiving tonight? What is it that you that you think is going on, but it's really not going on? It's only a mirage. Get in the face of God. Get on your knees and on your belly and have you some God time. You in God time. Call out the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I love you. Jesus. <laughs> Call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. <laughs> every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Jesus is Lord y'all be blessed I love you watch your perception watch your perception what is it that you perceiving what is your perception change your perception and you'll change your life love y'all